Hello class, Christine Cook, Rizzo, Valerie Gutierrez, Navdeep Kar, and myself, Mark Hamey, will be comparing Walmart and Amazon to see who has a competitive advantage in the market. Get started. Walmart evolved into what it is today based on the values and goals of Sam Walton. Sam's goals for Walmart was to create great value and provide great customer service. His vision was to make a variety of products affordable so customers could live a better life while saving money. Walmart has been able to provide great customer service since their start in 1960 when their first store opened. Sam Walton opened the first Walmart in 1962 in Rogers, Arkansas. As of 2001, Walmart has 11,443 stores around the world. Of those stores, 4,700 of them are in the United States, 6,100 are international stores, and 600 are Sam's Clubs. Walmart uses a hierarchical functional organizational structure. Every employee with the exception of the CEO has a direct superior. This type of structure allows Walmart to be able to influence the entire organization. Amazon was founded by a name you may have heard of, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos' idea of creating an online website that exclusively sold books took off in 1995. Jeff's vision didn't stop there, however. He wanted Amazon to be a customer-centric company where customers can find anything they might want to buy online. Amazon wants to create the best experience for their customer. And Amazon now houses almost every product, media, and service you can think of. Amazon also offers a selection of their own Amazon-branded products, such as Alexa. The functional organizational structure of Amazon includes three important functions, the global function based groups, global hierarchy, and geographic divisions. Each of Amazon's major business has a dedicated group with a senior manager. This current structure is helping Amazon's growth in the international e-commerce market. Now to talk about Walmart's corporate governance is Valerie. Hi class. So Walmart has had five CEOs in their 60 year history and currently has nine executive managers. Walmart has made a huge impact on diversity and inclusion and to address systematic racism in society and accelerate change, Walmart and the Walmart Foundation have committed $100 million over five years to create a new center for racial equity. They have a Raising Authentic Conversation on Equity or Race Ahead program, which is their anti-racism campaign and is focused on creating communities and a workplace culture where everyone feels they belong. Today, Walmart is focusing their power on our nation's financial health care, education, and criminal justice system. So Jeff Bezos, Amazon's founder from inception to now, and his explorer mentality has made Amazon an online powerhouse. Amazon has 14 leadership principles that it uses in every aspect of the business decision-making process, which are customer obsession, ownership, invent and simplify, are right a lot, learn and be curious, iron develop the best, insist on the highest standards, think big, bias for action, frugality, earn trust, dive deep, have a backbone, disagree and commit and deliver results. Amazon is continuing to make progress in building a more diverse workforce with the number of women in tech roles at Amazon increasing. Today, women lead many of their global, uh, or many of their biggest and most important businesses. Amazon supports policies that protect and expand voting rights, as well as better health and education outcomes. The company has donated more than 27 million to organizations working on social justice. Amazon has made many bold investments into different industries. Most recently, they have jumped into the online pharmacy business and will start fulfilling prescriptions. This will help make Amazon much more competitive with Walmart, which uh, has pharmacies in all other retail stores. Next, Christine Cook will be speaking on the internal analysis of Walmart and Amazon. Hello. So a little internal analysis on Walmart. Their major strengths are their pricing strategy and bargaining power, their established brand name and customer loyalty, and their international sales and distribution network. So as far as their pricing strategy and bargaining power, it minimizes costs, allowing for adjustments to selling prices accordingly. Their um, ability to buy in bulk from the manufacturers directly gives massive bargaining power. Their direct sourcing helps eliminate costs while bringing good quality products to their consumers. And Walmart's price advantage translates into enormous sales of revenue. Their established brand name and customer loyalty is 
that they're well known as the most popular retailer in the US. They've expanded globally and they've gained the trust of their consumers with good customer service and product quality. Their international sales and distribution network has established large sales expanding overseas and sells its products across 27 countries. Some of their weaknesses include um, they have an easily imitated business model, lower profit margins, and then competitive disadvantages against high-end specialty sellers. So their, their business model is easily imitated by, by anyone and it can be adopted with little to no changes. They have no significant competitive differentiations other than their size and pricing. The, this also in turn causes lower profit margins. And these margins can put more pressure on the staff and even incur salary cuts. The competitive disadvantages against the high-end specialty sellers is that they are allowed to maintain a certain market type of consumer. Now some internal analysis on Amazon. There are major strengths include diversification, intensive growth, low-cost leadership, and their market and product development. So their diversification comes from their digital streaming, their cloud computing, and artificial intelligence. Their largest merchandise selection with huge number of third-party sellers and translates into 120 million various products that are on the Amazon marketplace. Their intensive growth is because of their supply chains. Amazon partnered with 1,300 companies, which employs 895,000 people with 400 delivery stations across the U.S. These third-party sellers offer products that are not available through the Amazon retail division, and that stems to international growth. Their low-cost leadership strategy is selling mainly online, which saves their costs related to running a physical retail store. They also allow online marketplace to have more products sold without increasing marginal costs. And the prime membership members benefit from unlimited free shipping. The market and product development, Amazon uses advanced computing and networking technology for maximum operational efficiency. This minimizes costs and their speed of operations and capacity and in turn, their speed of delivery. Some of their weaknesses include their lack of a brick and mortar presence, and as well as control of quality of their products. That, that lack of physical retail stores means that the majority of their sales are only available to consumers via online e-commerce. And in comparison, Amazon just cannot want, match the presence of Walmart. Control of quality and products sold. So with 120 million various products sold with little to no quality control measures are due to the fact that they have third-party sellers that control their own products. And it in turn also can create new developments in inventory storage limits and faster delivery demands needed. And next to speak on some of our external analysis is Navdeep. Hello everyone. I will be talking about the external analysis. Walmart's main uh, customers are middle-class shoppers who are looking for quality products with inexpensive costs. For Walmart, the threat of new entrants is high because anyone can compete with the company by offering the same products at lower prices. So the company pricing must remain competitive to ensure the customer base does not suffer as a result of new market entrants. Walmart's direct competitors are de department stores that offer similar products such as um, Costco, Dollar Tree, Kohl's, uh, Target, and along with many other similar department stores. The competitive rivalry is high for Walmart because many departments are competing with Walmart's low cost strategy. For instance, Aldi already competes with Walmart by providing groceries at low cost. Even though there are many online e-commerce companies in the industry such as eBay, but it will still be hard for any company to build a brand like Amazon as it will require a large number of investments in the terms of warehousing, distribution, marketing, website, customer service, logistics, and many more. So the threat of new entrants for Amazon is pretty low. The competitive rivalry is high for Amazon because the organization not only compete with online retail industry, but also physical stores such as Walmart, Target, and many others. So the company must give great importance to the customer to maintain its success in the long run. So for the general environment, I did pestle analysis on some of its factors. In the political factor, what I observed was that um, it was very important for both the companies to have good political relationship with different nations as both the companies are globalized. For instance, um, different, uh, government, uh, different government can make more strict laws for internet and cybersecurity, which would be very beneficial for Amazon, as there has been a number of attempts to hack into its cloud computing services. 
Walmart must also maintain positive relations as the government have the right to stop or restrict selling of products due to any reasons. For instance, last month, the state of Vermont stopped uh, Walmart from selling non-essential items to reduce the spread of COVID. For economic factor, what I observed was that despite having decline of economic growth and disposable income for people, both the companies managed to generate revenue by selling products and addressing the needs of customers. For sociocultural factors, as we all know that during the past year, shopping patterns of people changed from physical to online. Walmart focused more on online products by offering home delivery and redesigning its website. Amazon already had an advantage to it as it already operates online, but the members took advantage, uh, advantage of prime membership and free deliveries. For financial condition, I did re return on equity ratio. Um, the return on equity ratio basically reveals how much profit a company has earned in comparison to the total amount of shareholder equity found on the balance sheet. Walmart, we can see that Walmart has maintained a steady ROE for the past five years, which suggests that the organization is above average at using company's assets to create profits, but there's still a little space for improvement. For Amazon, by looking at the figures, we can conclude that the Amazon has increased a lot in last five years. The company's ratio increased from 12.2% to almost about 22.8%, which is pretty good. This shows that the company has proven to be uh, more efficient and utilized investment financing effectively to grow the business. Now, Valerie will go over the current ratio. So Amazon has a higher current ratio than Walmart, which means they are more capable of paying their obligations because they have a larger portion of short-term assets relative to their short-term liabilities. And over the past five years, Amazon current ratio has remained above one, which means they are efficiently, efficiently utilizing assets. Walmart and Amazon both utilize the low-cost strategy business model and lead in different areas. We believe that Amazon leads the retail market over Walmart, and our recommendation for Amazon is to find a better way to lower their product costs in order to compete with Walmart's strategy. Collaboratively, through all of our research, we all determined that we predict Amazon will be the leading retailer in the future. This is mostly due to the fact that the only thing that seems to substantially keep them from you know, surpassing Walmart would be that they don't have physical stores, but that is something that they're currently working on and we see them continuing to improve in the foreseeable future and they continue to innovate. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for your time. We have a little short video we'd like to share with you.